Hello and welcome to the 12th tutorial in the SFML 2.1 series and in this part we're going to be looking at adding a sprite. We'll be using the source code from the third part of the series. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description. Before we add a sprite, let's talk about what a sprite is. A sprite is a 2D image or animation that is rendered within a large scene. For example, in the game Angry Birds, let's just open up Google so we can just get like an image. Angry Birds sprite. The birds will be the sprite, the obstacles will be the sprite. Oh, sorry, I forgot, I haven't got the internet connected. That doesn't matter. Well, yeah, the birds will be sprites, the obstacles will be sprites, and the pigs will be sprites, and so on. So, to put it simply, a sprite is the thing the player will see and interact with the most. SFML handles sprites amazingly well, so we can just create a sprite and draw it instead of having to assign memory to the bitmap and so on. Now that we are actually going to be drawing something to the screen, let's explain the general process. The window is cleared, so let's just open up our project so you can see what we mean. This little bit here. The window is cleared. If the window wasn't cleared, then previous frames, pixels will be visible. For example, if you moved a sprite and didn't clear the previous position, it would display it in both positions, which you obviously don't want. Once it uh, has been cleared, we draw everything that we want want and which is which will go in between here aka we will draw a sprite here in a moment and then once that has happened we will display it to the window aka this method right here and this process just keeps on repeating and repeating using this while loop any input is generally handled before clearing the window aka here such as the pole event and sort of live input that we've looked at in the previous few tutorials there are actually two parts to creating a sprite. First, you create a texture, which is basically an image to be mapped to a 2D entity. Then create a sprite, which is just a textured rectangle. Let's add an image to our project. To do that, I'm just gonna copy and paste this image that I've got on the desktop. And I'm gonna copy and paste it within this tutorial for my folder right here. Uh, been posted. Depending on how your project is set up, it may load files from a different location. So just be aware of this, but this is more specific to, again, your project environment. So it's harder to just follow this little bit. Basically what I mean is, more than likely you copy here and paste in here will be fine. If not, you just have, you have to make sure it's in line with your project setup. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is declare a texture, and we'll do that outside of the loop. So we're going to do SF. The reason we're doing it outside the loop, we only want to declare it once instead of declaring it every single time. Texture semicolon, and in here we're going to do if, and we're basically going to load the file now. If not load. Run, sorry, if not texture dot load from file, and in here I'm going to put paddle large dot png, which is what I added. You don't need to add it to your project or anything like that in the resources files, it just automatically picks it up, which is great. And now do stdc out error loading paddle texture. SFML does give it give its own warning as well, but we're just gonna put our own manual warning, but you can obviously do something else to handle and overcome an error like this. So actually what we'll do is run this now. So we can actually see that the texture is loading correctly. We have no comment in here. But I'm just gonna just put like a random character there so it's padly and then you'll see a little warning. And this is the SFML warning here, failed to load image, part of large.png, reason, on our token file. And this is just what we put, error loading part of texture. But again, like I said, chances are you probably won't want to put an error. You'll most likely want to handle it somehow. Okay, the, let's just undo that. Now the next thing that we're going to be doing is creating our sprite, SF sprite. I'm going to call it sprite and we're going to declare it using texture 
And now the last thing to do is draw it in between here. And to do that, you do window dot draw, and then you pass in what you want to draw. So I'm going to put sprite. Now, if we just run this, we will have our paddle sprite drawn. This is from our game Glowbreaker. If you want to check it out, there's a link in the in the description. Okay, so that is drawn. The one last thing we're going to show you, you if you can alternatively declare your sprite like this. So if you just emit out the brackets, this is basically an empty sprite, and you can assign a texture by doing sprite dot set texture, and then you specify the texture like so. There you go, it um, achieves the same result, and obviously you can change it afterwards as well using this dot set texture. Whether you declare it like this or the other way, you can still change the texture afterwards. That is it for this tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube. All the required links for source code will also be in the description. In the next part of this series, we're going to be looking at setting the sprites text texture rect size. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.